In this video, I'm going to show you how you can now swap Ethereum and ERC20 tokens within Ledger Live with Paraswap. For more information, please check out everybithelps.co.uk and I'll also put a timeline in the summary below so that you can just jump to specific parts of the tutorial. So in a recent Ledger Live update, they've now added Paraswap, allowing Ledger hardware users to support the likes of ETH, USDT, Aave and many more tokens. But what is Paraswap? Well, Paraswap, similar to the likes of OneInch, is a DEX aggregator that pulls in more than 30 decentralized exchanges into a single place. And these include the likes of Uniswap, SushiSwap and ZeroX. And Paraswap will essentially check all the rates across all the different exchanges to provide the best exchange rates available. And with your crypto being traded within Ledger Live, it means that your crypto is always remaining safe when you're swapping too. Plus it's decentralized, so you won't need to create any separate accounts. So let's jump in and take a look. And to get started, you're going to need to make sure that you're running the latest version of Ledger Live. Plus, you need to make sure that your device is on the latest firmware version. Now, as you can see, my firmware actually needs updating. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And just make sure that you have your recovery phrase stored somewhere safely before you make any major changes. So I'm just going to follow these steps. And it's now stating that I need to verify the identifier on my Ledger device then wait for the firmware to update and unlock my device with my PIN. At this point, I'm then prompted to reinstall my apps. Now, if your firmware is already up to date, you'll still need to make sure that you do have the Ethereum app installed on your device, which you can find under the app catalog under manager. And once the app's installed, you'll also need to add your account by clicking on to manage my accounts. Then simply follow the prompts on screen to add the account. Now the next thing that we need to do is install the Paraswap app. So if we head back to Manager on the left hand side of the screen, then you'll need to connect and unlock your device if you've not already done so. Plus you'll also need to allow the manager if you've not done that yet either. Then under the app catalog, just start to type Paraswap. And you'll see it come up here, so we're going to click on to install. And if we now head to swap on the left hand side of the screen, you'll see both options for Paraswap or Changely that you can select from. Now I do already have a tutorial around Changely that you can check out, but this is centralized. It allows BTC, ETH and USDT swaps, plus over 50 different currencies. But we're going to be focusing on Paraswap, which will connect to over 30 different DEXs and a swaps Ethereum ERC20 tokens, plus it's also decentralized. So let's select Paraswap and then click on to continue. So now what we have is the Paraswap dashboard. And over on the top right hand side of the screen, you can select the Ethereum account that you want to use for your swap. And it shows the associated address below. There's also your settings beside that, where you can change your slippage tolerance, the gas fee speeds, Plus you can also toggle from light to dark mode from here. Then you have the option to choose the different exchanges that you'd like to have enabled from the list here. Then over on the left hand side of the screen, we've got the swap token section where you can select the tokens that you'd like to swap from and to. And I'll take you through an example of that in a moment. When you select the pair that you want to exchange, you'll see the graph appearing on the right hand side for that pair that you've just selected and it will show you the price change over specific periods of time. And when you've entered in the amount, you'll also see the estimated amount that you're going to receive, the estimated cost, price impact, and the minimum amount that you'll receive. You'll also see that you've got this swap and transfer toggle button. So if you want to send the received tokens to a different account, click onto this and then just enter in the Ethereum address of the account. And sending two operations in a single transaction will basically help you to save on some fees here. Plus over on the right hand side of the screen, you'll also see that you've got something called a route. And this is the route that your swap is taking. Sometimes you'll find that the token needs to be changed into another token first 
before you can get the token that you want. But this is all taken care of for you as part of the swap. And it also shows the list of exchanges and the price compared to Paraswap 2, so you can always know that you're getting the best rates. So let's go ahead with an example now. And one thing to mention is that before you start swapping, you will need to open up the Paraswap app on your Ledger device. And I'd like to swap from Sushi to Ethereum. And to go ahead with your swap, you may find, like with many other DEXs, you first need to unlock your ERC20 tokens before you can go ahead and swap them. So if I unlock Sushi now, and I've now got the option to either unlock Sushi permanently within the wallet or just this one time, which is what I'm going to select so that I personally have to approve every single time. And I'll then need to sign the transaction and agree to the transaction fee for approving, which is around $2. So I'm going to continue and then confirm that on my ledger device. Once that's completed, it'll let me know once that's confirmed and I can now continue with my swap. So just before I go ahead with my swap, I can obviously see the route that this is taking, which is straight to ETH. And it lets me know which DEXs I'll be using. And this is 100% via SushiSwap. Plus, we can also see the estimate costs in terms of fees the price impact and the minimum amount that we'll receive. And as I mentioned earlier, you can also set an alternative address so that your ETH will go to another address if you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it in the safety of my ledger. So I'll swap now, where a review and confirm window then appears. And you can check out what you're swapping from here. You can edit the gas price if you want and the slippage rate. Plus there's an overview of the transaction. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm my order. And the gas fee will then appear, which is estimated at around $11. So I'm gonna to choose to continue. And once the transaction is complete, you'll then see your swap crypto under your account balances here. But that completes how you can use Paraswap from right within Ledger Live. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, Hit the subscribe button and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks and I'll see you soon.